Well, hi, it's uh, Ken Ham here, president of Anson Genesis Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. And this is a little different sort of Facebook Live video. Uh, we are at the farm, which is a special catering facility on the Cincinnati side of the Ohio River, uh, right across from the museum, actually, or fairly uh, close to where the museum is located. And uh, we're here at our Christmas party. Well, this is part one of our Christmas party. We have so many staff that we have to divide into two nights tonight and Monday night and uh, we have here uh, our staff and families we invite them to bring their their wives their children their husbands uh, to uh, come here and just have a special night where they can enjoy the food and it's great food uh, here at the farm and enjoy that and also to bring their kids and to uh, not have to worry about uh, you know uh, things that they got to do we don't really have uh, a program per se but we do have entertainment for the kids and so we're going to go up and see what the kids are doing here and I just want you to just be able to see uh, some of our staff and their families lots of children lots of children well we're very procreationist ministry so there's lots of children uh, in fact there are some some of our staff have many many children uh, even ten or more so uh, again, this is just uh, some of our staff and their families. Uh, we'll have another one of these evenings on uh, Monday, Monday night, and we're going to come down here, and uh, we're going to come down here. And see some of these kids here. Isn't it great to see uh, all these children here and uh, a lot of them here tonight they're sitting down so we've got a special entertainer here tonight because it would be a shame to miss out on something really really cool because one person was talking especially if that something ended up being something kind of like this Nasty, y'all want you see? Want to see this? this is sick. Now, look at that. That's nasty. You don't want to touch it? No. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. That's whatever. Whatever you want to do, that's okay. That's fine. Don't bother me, none. Don't bother me, none. Very, very cool. Now, I need you all to help me out really fast. Put your hands high in the air and wiggle your fingers at my uh, soaps and count to three with me. Ready? One, two, three. Whew. Is it? It's empty. That's not cool at all. Um, let's see here. I'll put this right in there. Very, very cool. I'm missing something. There it is. It's right there, just like that. I want you to take a look at this blue tank right there. I'm gonna put it right there. Put it right here, just like that. Watch very, very closely. What I need you guys to do again is I want you to, um, uh, let's see, put your hands high in the air again, wiggle your fingers at my silk and say the magic words. You know what the magic words are? My toes really stink. Ready? One, two, three. That's cool. Well, do you feel like you had a Christmas party? <laughs> and the kids are all uh, enjoying this. We'll talk to we'll talk to uh, our illusionist here soon. So watch this. This is awesome. I take this one. I put it right there, just like this. I take this. I take, I take a lot more. I put it over here just like that. There it is. Okay, take, 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 take. I'm just going to put the rest on in there. Now I need you guys to help me again. Count to three with me. Ready? Put your hands high in the air. Wiggle your fingers. Count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Get off! 
That's all right. Miss Ashley, will you show that bag? Very, very cool. We're going to take this blue silk. We're going to put it in that bag. I need you guys to help me one more time. Put your hands high in the air. Wiggle your fingers and say the magic words with me. You know what the magic words are? One, two, three. My day, Dilly Sting. Well, cool. Hey there, how are you today? Very, very cool. This is my dove, Abigail. Can you guys say hi, Abigail? Hi, um, Abigail. Let's see. Uh, uh, green shirt, would you like to help me real quick? Come on over here real fast. Yeah, come on over. Well, yeah, big brother, big brother. Come on over here, big man. Come on over here. Give him a great big hand. He's going to help me out today. And he's bringing little brother. I like it. Very, very cool. Now, your name is? Evan. And your name is? He likes those lights, doesn't he? Evan, have you ever pet a bird before? Yeah. Would you like to? Just go ahead and just <laughs> boof! <laughs> Would you like to pet one too? Oh yes, I ain't touching that thing. Give him a great big hand. Give Abigail a great big hand. Thank you very, very much. You may have a seat. Are you guys ready to have some fun? cool because I like to have fun. Now, we are here today for a very special reason. What reason is that? No, to eat food. <laughs> We're here to celebrate a Christmas party. Somebody tell me what is so special about Christmas. I, I want to know what are some things that you think about when you think about Christmas. Yes, ma'am. Jesus, that's the best one yet. Let's sing some more. Right? Yes, ma'am. Jesus being born. That's a really good one. Jesus' birthday, yes, that's a good one. Let's think of some other things that come with Christmas. What do you think of when you Well, you can tell all these kids come from Christian homes. What is it? Christmas lights. Christmas lights, that's the one I was looking for. Thank you very, very much. I love Christmas lights. You see these lights all over the place? I love the lights. You know why? Because the reason, hold on, the reason we have Christmas was Jesus came down to be a light. And did you know what? God told us that we were supposed to be the light of the world in Matthew chapter 5. I need somebody to help me real fast. Can somebody help me? Let's see. Let's get a young lady right here. White, come on over here real fast. Give her a great big hand. She's going to help me out today. Very, very cool. Your name is? Megan. Miss Megan, how old are you? Eight. Are you married? I'm going to take that as a no. Miss Megan, I have a question for you, okay? What, what is this right here? That's an egg. That's an egg. What's this right here? A bag. A bag. That's absolutely right. Miss Egan, what, Miss Egan, what Megan's? Um, Miss Megan, what happens to eggs when they fall? They break. They break. Yes, they do. What happens when they break? It makes a mess. makes a very big mess, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, Miss Megan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you protect my egg. You are going to be protector of my egg. Do you know what that means? Now, it means if you, my egg falls, breaks, and makes a mess, Mr. Ken Ham's coming after you and not me because I am not cleaning it up, okay? Cool. She's like, I don't know how to take this guy right now. So I want you to take this egg, okay? Be very careful. <laughs> Do you need a, a baggie? No? Okay. Uh, can I have that? Thank you very, very much. <laughs> you forgot to do something. Catch it. That was a big, it's not real. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. Anyway, Miss Megan, what I want you to do is I want you to take that egg, all right? I want you to show it to everybody in the room. And then I want you to place it in the bag just like that. Very, very cool. Now, can you guys see that egg? I can see it, Miss Megan. Can you see it? Yeah. Would you like a close-up? No. No. Go ahead and reach in there real fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm going to stop doing that. All right, go ahead. Reach in there. I won't do it again. I promise. Go ahead. I, I promise. I won't do it again. I'll get it for you. There you go. Just like that. Go ahead and take it. Show it to everybody in the room. I want you to put it back in the bag one more time, okay? Just make sure. Now, can you guys see it? No! They can't see it again. I'm going to do this with us one more time. Show it to everybody in the room. Let's place it back in the bag one more time, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this egg disappear right in front of your eyes. Are you guys ready for this? This is the coolest thing in the world. You ready? All right, for this trick to work, you all have to close your eyes really, really fast. This is why I work with kids. Never mind. Open your eyes. That, that, that wouldn't be a really cool trick. Where'd it go? 
I don't know. Anyway, Miss Megan, feel that. Is that the egg? Yes, all right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this egg disappear on the count of three. Are you guys ready for this? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Your egg is gone. Your egg is not in your bag. Your egg is not in my face. Your egg is gone. Where is the egg? No, it's not. It's a mystery. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the egg reappear. Are you ready? <laughs> Miss Megan, stick your hand in your hat. Get very close now. Don't move it now. On the honey feed, the egg is going to appear right here. Here you go, ready? Don't move it now. Don't move it. There you go, ready? Here we go. Don't, don't move it right there. Really, I know you did this. It's right here. One, two. That's <laughs> not good at all. Um, uh, ha, ha. You see, I actually left my egg right here. Can you see it? Yeah. You can't see? Yeah. Miss Megan, yeah. you can see my egg, right? No, I can. For five dollars, could you see it? Yes. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Here you go. I'm going to let you take my egg. I want you to back up. Don't drop it now, because if you drop it, we'll never find it again. Now back up just a little bit. Just, just back up just a bit. Just, just a little bit more. A little bit more. Right there, don't move. Right. Now, Miss Megan, what I want you to do is I want you to toss it in the air into the bag. Match it. One on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. In the air. You know, the roof counts too. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Miss Megan, can you stomp your foot really fast? Reach in there. I'm not going to do anything. I'll get it. There's no tree ant in there. There's only an egg. I don't trust you. And she's not phased. That's okay. That's all right. Very, very cool. Can you give Miss Megan a great big hand? Thank you very much, Miss Megan. You can have a seat. Can you guys see my egg now? Jesus was talking to his disciples. In Matthew chapter 5, he says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Then he goes on to say, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Guys, listen to me very carefully. Christmas is the greatest time of the year to let your light shine for Jesus Christ. There's a lot of people in this world that think, you know what, I'm going to do my own thing. I love Christmas because I'm going to get presents and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go see friends. I'm going to eat a lot of cake. And I know you guys are like, I just want the presents. That's all I want. That's, that's, that's it. But we're supposed to be letting our light shine. And you know what? Not a lot of us do that nowadays. We don't do what our, we are supposed to do. Speaking of not doing what we're supposed to do, I've got a friend with me today. W would you guys like to meet him? His name is Wilson. Now listen to me very carefully. Wilson's just a baby. He's very, very um, shy. And so it's going to take me a few minutes to get him... Um, outgoing. So give me one sec. He's back in his cage. I just got him from the zoo not too long ago. If you just give me a second, he's right back here. Come on out here, buddy. It's all right. Come on out here. You're fine. You're fine. All right. Okay. If you just joined us, we're at our annual staff Christmas party. Uh, we have one tonight and one on Monday night because uh, we have so many staff and uh, they bring their families and we have a special program for kids. We have great food. And uh, we're going to do something a little special here in a moment. But I want you to say, I want you to say hi, okay? <laughs> Wilson, tell everybody hi. <laughs> you're, you're embarrassing me. Tell me hi. <laughs> I know what it is. See, girls, he likes, he likes the girls a little bit more because you don't scare him as much. On the count of three, can you just say, girls, say hi, Wilson, in your sweet voice. Ready? One, two, three. Do you like that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Wilson, tell the girls hi. Hi. There you go. Good boy. It's all right. Wilson, tell the boys hi. No. <laughs> Wilson, tell the boys hi. No. <laughs> tell the boys hi right now. I'm taking away your banana. How's <laughs> it? 
get up. up. I said, get up. That's all. All right, this is my friend Wilson. Wilson, say hello. 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 All right, now, Wilson, you and I are going to do something special. Something special. We're going to do something special. See, tonight, tonight, I am going to be, what's it going to be? I'm going to be the magician. The magician. Yeah, I'm going to be the magician. He's the magician. Yeah, he knows that. I'm the magician. The magician. Okay, it's all right. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do what? I'm not going to do. What are you going to be? What? You're going to be la, the assistant, the assistant, yeah, the assistant, the assistant, assistant, the assistant, assistant, the assistant. What's wrong with you? I can't say assistant. You can't say assistant? I got say the assistant. Okay. Anyway, now listen. Uh, what I want you to do is I've got I'm the assistant. They, they know what you are. The assistant. All right, stop it, okay? The assistant. All right, stop it. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, it's okay. He's staring at the. It's it's all right. He's allowed to stare at you. No, it's it's, it's okay. It's all right. Leave him alone. Stop it. Leave him alone. It's okay. All right. Now, Wilson, I've got something with me. What's you got? Right this way. Right. What's wrong? What is that? Right this. Right. This right here. Right. This is a balloon. A balloon. It's a balloon. He's got the balloon. Yeah, they know what I got. He's got a balloon. All right, stop it. It's all right. A balloon. Okay, so it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Hello. Okay. All right. Now, Wilson, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow this up. I'm the Huh? As a dog. You can't blow it. You'll suck them. You can't blow it. All right, I'll let you blow it up. Thunder. All right, you go ahead and blow it up. You'll suck them. Okay, you go ahead and take it. I want you to blow it up. <laughs> blow it up. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Give me the blue. I'm going to blow it It's embarrassing. Drives me nuts. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, now what's going to happen is this. What? Right, what's wrong? Wilson! One minute, I'm sorry about one second, please. Thumbs up, you're welcome. I'm gonna blow it up. I tell and now I want you, I'm gonna stare at this guy. You're gonna stare at this guy? Okay, leave him alone, okay? Stop that. Now Wilson, what I want you to do is I want you to hold it. I hold it. I want you to hold it. I'm gonna hold it. All right, just go hold it. You've got it. Oh, now what? What's <laughs> up? Okay. Uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. That's nasty. Yeah, that's not nasty. I'll just get another. Oh, it's got another balloon. All right, okay. You know what I've got? I'm gonna blow it up again. I'll start. I'll You're gonna watch it. Yeah. Now this time I want you to hold it. As I hold it, you do not let go. I don't let go. You don't let go. I don't let go. You do not let go. I do not let go. Hold on to it. Do not let go. I don't let go. Alright, now what's gonna Oops! <laughs> yeah, oops, he's right. I have got one more balloon. Banana. It's not a banana, it's a balloon. I'm gonna blow this up. You are not going to let it go. I've done let it go. You don't let it go. I've done let it go. Stop that. You hold on to this. I heard that. You do not let it go. I've done let it go. All right, now hold on to it. I got it. You're gonna let it go. Work on it. You don't let it go. You all right, buddy? Okay, all right. Now, what this is a really cool trick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a needle. I'm gonna place it inside of the. Hey! Sorry about that. Now what's going to happen is this. I'm going to take a needle. I'm going to put it through the balloon. It come down here. Sorry guys. Sit down. Now listen. Stop it. What do you have to say for yourself? Let's see. Oh stop it. You're going back in the other room too. You're going to go back in the other room. Kids are really enjoying himself tonight. I think the parents are too. Can you give Wilson a great big hand? He's he's a little crazy. Mercy. Now, did Wilson pay attention? Did he listen very well? Listen, guys, very carefully. The reason we have Christmas is because Jesus came down to be born so that one day he could die so that one day we could go to heaven if we chose to listen to me very carefully it is our job once christ lives in our life to go tell the world about him but listen to me very carefully again if we don't do that we're not listening just like wilson we won't listen 
And Jesus wants us to go out and tell the world about Jesus Christ. And you guys are doing a wonderful job at it. But if we don't, if we keep that information to ourselves, we're just like Wilson. We don't tell anybody about Jesus Christ and we don't do what we're supposed to do. I need six helpers really, really fast. I need six. I've been picking on... Come on over here, buddy. I've been picking on you all day long. All right, you come stand right here for me. There's one. Um, After we do this a uh, little bit here, I'm going to go up and uh, talk to our entertainer here. And he's going to do something uh, a little different. So you'll just have to wait and uh, watch that. Yeah, there you go. Come on over here. You're stay. Yeah, come up right there with her. They're standing up right next with him. Uh, uh, young man, blue shirt. Yeah, blue shirt, red stripes. You're going to stand right next to her. One, two, three, four, five. Young lady, cheetah jacket. Come on over here. Give her a great big hand. Give them all a great big hand. You're going to stand right next to him. Now listen to me very, very carefully. The reason we have Christmas. There's a lot of people in this world. I've been all around the United States of the world and other parts of the world. Now listen to me very carefully. There's a lot of people that don't know why, Chris, why we have Christmas. They think that it's a whole bunch of different things, but we're going to find out the real meaning of Christmas. So what I need you guys to do is I want you to hold that right there. Don't move it. Don't let anybody see it, okay? Hold it right there. Don't let anybody see it. Don't move it. Hold it right there. Don't let anybody see it. Don't move it. Hold it right there. Don't let anybody see it. Don't move it. There you go. Do the same thing. Right there. Do the same thing. The reason for the season. Um, let's see. Uh, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. You don't have to go anywhere. Uh, your name is? Miss Joy. Miss Joy, can you give me a number between one and six? Four. One, two, three, four. You chose four. Did I come to you at any time before, Miss Joy, and say, you need to pick four? No, okay. She, you're, you're stranger danger. I can see your, your face. I don't want to talk to you right now. All right, it's, all, it's okay. It's all right. Miss Joy, you made a decision. Everybody in this world has to make a decision one day before they die. You know, there's a lot of people making decisions of what Christmas is all about. Miss Joy made a decision. We're going to see what she did not decide first. So can you just step back? Just, just take one step back. We're going to come to you in a bit, buddy, okay? All right. Miss Joy, let's see what decision you did not choose. Young lady, can you turn your card around? Miss Joy, you didn't choose snow. There's a lot of people that think, you know, Christmas is very important. Hi, how are you doing? Christmas is very important because I can build a snowman. Well, that's great, but that is not the reason for Christmas. So, Miss Joy, you didn't choose snowman. That's great. Let's see what else Miss Joy did not choose. Can you flip your card around, buddy? Miss Joy, you didn't choose Elvis. Now, I know it's heartbreaker for some of you adults. But Elvis isn't the real meaning of Christmas, no matter how blue your Christmas gets. Listen to me very carefully. All the singing, and he did some great singing for Christmas music, but that is not the real meaning of Christmas. So, Miss Joy, you didn't choose Elvis. Let's see what else you didn't choose. Can you flip your card over for me? Miss Joy, you didn't choose Santa Claus. There's a lot of people in this world that think, Santa! Woo-hoo! I'm going to get some presents! But that's not the real meaning of Christmas. That's not even close to the real meaning of Christmas. So, Miss Joy, you didn't choose Santa Claus. Let's see what else you didn't choose. Can you flip your card over for me? Miss Joy, you didn't choose family. A lot of people, um, for Christmas time, they get together with family. You guys are getting together with family and friends. And getting together with family is a wonderful thing, but listen to me very carefully. Family's not the real meaning of Christmas. You can get with, together with your family all day long, but it does not do anything for you. So, Miss Joy, you didn't choose family. Let's see the last thing you didn't choose. Can you flip your card over for me, buddy? You didn't choose gifts. You didn't choose a Christmas present. Everybody in the world loves to get a gift. We all love getting gifts, but gifts are not the real meaning of Christmas. So what is the real meaning of Christmas? Why do we celebrate Christmas? Miss Joy, you made a choice. Let's see what choice you made. Can you step over for me, buddy? Miss Joy, you chose baby Jesus. He is the reason why we have Christmas. Listen to me very carefully. He came to be born so that one day He could die for our sins. That if we chose to, one day we could go to heaven. And that's what Christmas is all about. That's why He came. And if you want to be kind of like Wilson, Jesus tells us to do stuff, but if we don't listen, we're exactly like Wilson. 
So remember this year for Christmas, it's not about family. Thank you, buddy. It's not about gifts. It's not about Santa Claus. It's not about Elvis. It's not about snowmen. It's about Jesus Christ. Can you guys give my helpers a great big hand? Thank you very, very much. You may have a seat. Thank you guys very, very much. Okay, right now I'm going to interrupt this program for a commercial break. Absolutely. If you want to learn more about Jesus, you go to the Croatia Museum and the Ark. Yes, sir. So, hey, I just wanted to uh, ask you a question. Is it true that your name is in Genesis? My name is in Genesis. Adam? Yep. My parents named me after the first sinner. Well, there we are. Yeah. Favoritism. Yes. <laughs> Favoritism. Named after the first sinner. Yeah. Uh, well, Adam, is your wife's name Eve? No. She wouldn't change it, but that's okay. So what is your wife's name? My wife's name is Ashley. We're oh, the A-team. You're, you're the A-team. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Adam, uh, you, are you on the web? I am on the web. Now, you, did you know you've been on TV? Smile. You're on TV. There you are. Uh, hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. <laughs> You're actually on uh, Facebook Live. Yes. Millions and millions and millions of, well, Thank th you. there's a few people watching anyway uh, okay. on my Facebook Live. Great. That's so I just wanted you to look nice. <coughs> Thank you. And so if people want to find out more about you, where do they go? You look us up at coolkidsministries.com. Um, I work for Cool Kids Ministries. A man by the name of Steve Harney started about 12 years ago. Um, we're traveling evangelists who specialize in children's ministry. We go all across the United States and all across the world telling boys and girls and families about Jesus Christ. Oh, that is great. C cool Kids Ministry. I'm pleased you could be here tonight to tell all our uh, boys and girls about the Lord Jesus. So, Thank you uh, for having us. Should I hop off the stage? And well, I actually have a question for you real fast. A question for me? Yes. Um, been a human puppet before. Have I ever been a human puppet before? Yes, sir. Well, you know I am married. Okay, well I was not going to go... <laughs> I'm not going down that road. <laughs> it's right there. Um, okay. But uh, you mind if I make you a human puppet real fast? You, you want to make me a human puppet? Yeah, if you say no, I can still do it. Okay, why don't you make me a human okay, puppet? Okay, okay. <laughs> well, before we get started, uh, Mr. Ken, what I, what I need you to do is if... Could you put this on really, really fast? I think it'd just make you look really, really nice. Not that you don't look nice already, but that, oh yes, that's great. That's, oh, oh I like it. Yes, wonderful. And, and we're missing something, though. We're missing, um, you, you won't need this. In fact, I don't want you to be able to say anything because you might be able to bail yourself out. Uh, listen. Uh, anyway, if you just put, uh, look forward and smile at the people, just put a great big smile. It's, is that it? It's like, okay, it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. We'll, we'll work on that. Um, and, well, you know what? I'll actually take care of that. Mr. Kim, if you just... Yeah, there we go. That's, that's nice right there. That's good. Um, Mr. Kim? Yes! Yes. Um, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing so good! You're doing so good? Yes, I yes, yes, you are. Well, Mr. Kim, yes, yes. Um, do you, what, what kind of things do you do? I do amazing things. Do you do amazing things? Yes, I do. Um, what, what kind of things do you do? I can dance. You can dance? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all. We won't. Oh, okay. That's that's nice. I like it. Don't you? Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, Mr. Kidd, is there anything else that you can do? Yes, I can sing. You can sing. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Mr. Kidd, yes, would you like to sing for us today? Yes, I would. Yes, you would. That's good. Yeah. Uh, well, what, 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 what songs would you like to sing? What do you know? What do I, what is that? Uh, that's, uh, are you writing something? Yeah. yeah what you, oh, even Jingle Jingles. The Jingle Bell. Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing Jingle Bell? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. That's, I like that. I've never seen that for Jingle Bells. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know the words for Jingle Bells? I hope so. You hope so. Okay. Well, then let's sing Jingle Bells. I'll tell you. All right. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Me, me, me. Yeah, go ahead. Jingle Bells. Jingle dollars. They hear jingle and drill. That's like, what is it? Yeah, yeah. I've got some little two-round. One more. One more. One horse over. One more. Start and slow. Hey. Okay, so one more time. Jingle dollars. Jingle dollars. Jingle and drill. I like that picture. Yeah. I've got some little two-round. One horse. One horse! One horse! Open slate. Open slate! 
Woo! <laughs> Give him a great big hand. Thank you very, very much, Mr. King. I appreciate that. That's great. I love it. Thank you. He don't like me anymore. All right. That's my, well, that's my debut as an entertainer. I think that'll be it. <laughs> so uh, we'll just get uh, my microphone cord untangled here. There we are. Hope you enjoyed uh, and just joining us, being a little part of our Christmas party here at Answers and Genesis. And actually, uh, we're going to have another evening next Monday evening when we do the same thing again, but with a whole other group of our staff. We have about 750 staff, and so when they get together with all their uh, children, their families, uh, it's a lot of people. So we'll get everyone to wave, and uh, if we can, there we are. We'll, we'll get, get them to wave. There are. And we'll sign off here from the farm in Cincinnati.